If you want to speak fluently in English, you actually need to talk. And if you're sick talking to yourself or your cat, it never answers but always judges. Then it's probably time for you to find a speaking partner. And in this video, I'll tell you how. Hi everyone, I'm Olga. I'm an advanced English learner who talks about learning techniques, vocabulary and different ways to improve fluency. And today I'm going to talk about speaking partners. Why do you need them? Where to find them? And how to actually find and choose a speaking partner? Tip number one. It doesn't have to be a native speaker. Many learners are obsessed with finding native speakers from the UK, the USA, Australia to talk to. But it doesn't have to be this way. All my long-term partners are English learners, as I am. And that's fantastic, because we share the same goal of improving English. We have this interest that unites us. We can always talk about our struggles and the other person can relate to our struggles. And that's a great bonding moment. And you don't need a native speaker to improve your fluency. And some people say that you can just pick up mistakes from your speaking partner if it's a non-native speaker. But mistakes are not contagious. They're not. <laughs> you make your own mistakes, they make their own mistakes. But you're communicating, you're improving your fluency. And that's something you need to consider. Tip number two. Places. Where are your potential speaking partners hiding? I have quite a few such places that are free of charge and that are used personally. Let's start. Free for a talk. I hand out there for a while. You just go there and talk to people. That's it. Who is on the website, you can talk to them without any preparation. Then we have Tandem. Mm, this is a place for more like one-time conversations for me. I, I didn't have much luck, but it's worth a shot. On Facebook you can find the Influency community. It's a fantastic place to find really motivated English learners. And if you like them, <laughs> you can ask them on a... not on a date, but you can ask them to be your speaking partner. And last, you have about English. It's a great place where you can find conversation groups. And you, you can join a conversation group. And there, you can look at people, talk to people, and actually find your future conversation partner. See? It's that simple. You just go to some places and find people you like. Ask them to be a speaking partner. People usually say yes. Tip number three. Find somebody with similar interests. You need somebody you vibe with. You need somebody who shares the same things you like. Who enjoys the same things. Maybe this person likes the same TV shows. Or maybe books. I don't know. Anything. By the way, if you're interested in books, check out my previous videos on this topic. You need somebody with whom you will have this connection and these amazing conversations. And you'll have motivation to continue to talk to, to this person again and again and again. And you will improve your English, your fluency in such a fun way. Tip number four. Find somebody with a similar level or maybe a bit lower or a bit higher. If your conversation partner will be a bit on a lower level, you'll be able to explain some things to them 
and it will definitely improve your fluency and the ability to explain <laughs> things. Uh, if it's a bit higher, then you'll have a great time learning from this person. And you can share very wholesome, awesome conversations together. However, if the difference in your levels is too much, you probably won't be able to speak freely. You won't be able to enjoy the conversation as much. And you'll struggle instead of having a fun time. Tip number five. Try to find a person in the same time zone as you are. However, it's not a deal breaker. I have a speaking partner who lives in the USA and I'm in Europe and we have seven or eight hours of difference. If that's convenient for both of you, then why not? Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video useful, click on the like button and I'll see you in my next video with some awesome language content.